Look at here. Benelli just debuted the, basically, it's going to be rebadged as the Benelli 600 double R. It's basically a, a fair version of the TNT 600, the Tornado 600. But in China, it's going to be called the QJ SRG 600. What's up with QJ and SR? SRT, SRG, oh well. And this is going to be QJ and Benelli's first fully fared bike. I don't know if this is a, a serious super sport bike. Let me see what it looks like. Not much pictures, unfortunately. So there you go. <laughs> There's not much pictures. And this, but this is based in, this is from Bike Wally. So yeah, it's basically a fared version of the TNT 600 that is available currently in the, basically worldwide, including here in the US. I've ridden the 600, uh, the TNT 600 here in the US. Fortunately, it's in my other hard drive too, so. But yeah, uh, they just debuted the TNT 600 in the Philippines. Everyone is going wild of it because it's a four cylinder naked, just like the CB 600, uh, 650. Yeah, the, the smaller CB with a four-cylinder. And it says here, the QJ, the QJ SRG600 or Benelli 600 double R is a fully fared motorcycle, a product based on the same platform as the 2020 TLT 600. Styling cues include a twin pod headlight setup, fared mounting rear view mirrors, muscular fuel tank, split style seats, and rear tire hugger mounted on the number plate just I think they got that from the TNT because it has that uh, tire hugging uh, license plate holder just like the TNT 135 the motorcycle also benefits from a full features feature like full LED lighting full color TFT display and keyless ignition okay from this angle it kind of looks like a a, a mishmash of the Fireblade and uh, the Panigale. The, the engine uses a 600cc inline four-cylinder, yep, I was right, liquid-cooled engine and produces 80.4 horsepower or 81 horsepower and 55 newton meters of torque just like the TNT 600. So it's basically a milder. It's gonna be, it looks like it, it ha, it's it's hard to tell from this photo, unfortunately. It sucks. But it's aggressive bike. It, it it looks like a very aggressive bike. It could it may not outrun those those monsters from the Japanese Big Four, but hey, it's a good first attempt. The the question is when will Benelli uh, announce this bike officially? Time will tell on that, but just to show it to you guys what's going on. And Moving on from six fifth uh, from six hundred. There you go. There's your MT07 rival right there, or six uh, SV650 rival. So Benelli is joining in the fray on the sport naked category. There's the there's this seven hundred cc Street Fighter. I don't know what are they going to call it because TNT is taken. Uh, 502 is already taken. They might call this the Tray 700. Yeah. That might be good. The tray is an old model back in the day, but hey, pretty good. So, Benelli appears to have a steady lineup of motorcycles for 2021, just a few days after the SRT500, which is TRK502. And then right now, it's still unknown about this 700cc. I think this bike was captured next to the 350S that I just showed you earlier. So. This might compete against the CF Moto 700 CLX and of course the Z650. The oh my, there's a lot. There's yeah, the SV650, the MT07, but no no word about about this bike. And as you can see right here, base as what you can see. It looks like a mock-up of a Z1000 because of look at that headlight. It's pretty look weird looking. But hey, more bikes the merrier, right? I can I'll call it. It will be called Trey 700. There you go. Just to remind, just to revive that Trey name, the T R E T R E 700. 
it's gonna be launched in 2021 time will tell what they're gonna call it but yeah there you go 700 cc it's it's another size there and then there's an and then qj launched an srt 750 so basically this is gonna be this is going to compete the soon to be departed tiger 800 from triumph but this is weird it has a oh yeah it has a 19 inch front wheels with a cross spoke design yeah this is another adventure this is gonna be like a TRK 800 they might call it a TRK 800 on this 800s and 800x so it says here it's going to be powered by a 754 cc liquid cooled for another four cylinder wow and it's going to be powered by the 752s i never heard of this bike before benelli 752s so time will tell about this bike even bike wa bike wally just uh, also cover this bike too it's going to be called trk 800 800s or 800k depends on what the front tire is set up if it's a, a 800 802 or something 800 or 802 if it's the x it's going to be a 19 inch front wheel if it's the s or no letter at all it's going to be uh, 17 inches <laughs> there's so many it's this video is getting longer as i go it through and then on top of its on top of its food chain, Benelli just came out with this to compete against the the cop bike, the BMW R1250 RT. They just released this Benelli 1200 GT sport touring bike. Look at this thing. It's it's, it's pretty phenomenal how Benelli just turns out models like plu 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 like this it says this this sport touring bike it's gonna go against directly against the r1250 rt it says it's an upgraded version of the 1130 cc inline triple from the old tornado in the tray k so it's gonna have a 134 horsepower so basically 135 ps or horsepower anemic and an anemic 88 and a half pound feet of torque what the there's not much torque but it's going to be more of a top end uh style bike that being said the maker isn't going for performance so much as affordability on its new flagship sport tour yes it's gonna it's obviously this bike is going to be a flagship benelli bike obviously and then as you can see the gauge cluster looks kind of cheap cheap looking I know there's a slot there for the GPS or whatever you put Garmin or anything, but the gauges look looks like it was made back in the 90s at least. Look at that. It, it's also it also does the microscopic uh, speedometer, but good thing it has a TFT gauge in the middle, so that complements that. It also has a keyless entry. Yeah, so far so good. It's promising, but the gauge kind of turns me off. It looks. You know, good, good effort, but I don't know. People might turn off. Well, actually, not all of them. People might like this design. It harkens back by there with their 1150 RT back in the day. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is the 1200, and there might tease another 1200cc four cylinder engine. As you can see, it might look like a naked bike. It does. It, it depends. There's going to be more models coming up from Benelli over here, over there, and I'm just sweating right now because there's so many models. They might. I don't know. And then this came up too. Um, QJ and MB Augusta of Italy. Or they just made a partnership to distribute their bikes in China. So that's good news. And then while we're in Envy Augusta, Envy Augusta is also with with Lonsen. They're gonna release a 500 cc Lonsen motorcycle, uh, Lonsen 500 AC, Vogue 500 AC. Basically, it's going to be a retro version of the 500R. And this is only the this is only the the 
the prototype and this is the official debut of it for the launching Vogue 500 AC so yeah it's gonna compete directly against the Leoncino 500 and some of the 500cc uh, retro naked bikes it's gonna be a 471cc parallel just like the 500R and the 500DS that I'll be uploading soon on this on this channel right here so before anything <laughs> it's getting too long I'm sorry about that but it's a lot to swallow I warned you earlier there's a lot of things to swallow here so thank you very much and I'll see you guys later